ooh, two friends are streaming. Okay, so what I really want to do is change around my controller. So I'm going to pop into settings here and controls. And I'm going to go customize. And I'm going to take my fire button and I'm going to set it. So today we are going to go over some mobile video games because uh, there's a lot of games out there that people have been playing and streaming and recording using their cell phone. So I decided to grab a cell phone game controller and this one will unbox in a minute, but there's tons out there and they all cost seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen dollars maybe 20. They all kind of look the same in that range. So I just grabbed the one that Amazon kind of said was the best. I'm going to try it out on a few different games. So I'm going to try uh, PUBG uh, mobile and I'm going to try PUBG on the new platform. So the PUBG mobile Lite. Which is getting a lot of attention right now. So for the regular PUBG, I'm going to be using um, the iPhone, and this is the iPhone 7, so a little bit older generation, but that'll be a nice test for how well that phone works, not only with the controller, but also the games. And then I'll do a little recorded gameplay on the new PUBG Mobile Lite using my GS9 uh, Plus. So um, let's dive in, man. I'm, I'm kind of excited. Um, we'll do a quick unboxing. I'll show you what comes in. I think it's pretty simple. There's not really much to it. It's just the controller itself and probably like a charging cable. So I don't know. We're not really gonna see much that's gonna blow us out of the water, but I think it could really help as far as gameplay because it kind of gets tiresome using your thumbs, you know, and then you kind of have to hold it awkwardly when you're playing, especially when you get tired. So that's what I think this guy's gonna be good for, but let's go check it out. Uh, and then we'll do some gameplay, so. Okay. So I found this little gem on Amazon. Figured uh, I'd give this guy a little shot on my PUBG video game action. This guy is the SR video game controller. I don't really know anything else about it because I mean, it's all in um, another language. It looks like Chinese probably. It did say it has a fan on the back to keep your phone cool, which I don't know. I didn't really have many issues of my phone getting really hot, but it seemed pretty cool because um, that should help performance of the battery. Keeping the battery cooler should mean that your battery lasts longer. And then the controller itself has a 2000 milliamp battery. Um, I'm going to plug this guy in. I was originally planning to play uh, the PUBG Battlegrounds, but uh, just released, I believe yesterday, is the PUBG Mobile Lite platform. So I'm going to install that guy and use this just to play a few games and see how it does. Um, so this was, I don't know, like 12 bucks or something on Amazon, um, maybe 15, uh, really not that expensive. I think the packaging is cooler than the controller itself. I mean, super shiny packaging. It's like getting a holographic card, you know, in a collector's style card. It's just cool packaging. So I don't know, whatever, who cares? Pretty cool. Um, I'm a, I'm a console gamer, so like I like the controller feel to it. I do play a little PC games every once in a while, but primarily console. So it is pretty cool that they have that. Looks like you have your charging cable and then USB. There's no instruction manual, so I don't really know what this USB is. Maybe a way to plug in some sort of external mic, a uh, way to plug in external fan, F if I know. Um, it's not like the nicest controller, but for 12 bucks, I can't really complain. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what all of these things mean yet. So, but the fan does feel pretty beefy. 
So you can feel the battery in here and the fan's pretty beefy. So those are kind of the two most important things in my opinion. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get this guy set up with the phone. I'm gonna turn on the PUBG mobile light. And we're gonna play some video games. Okay, here we go. This is a little weird. I mean, I could probably get make this work. I'm loading up PUBG Mobile, okay? This is my gaming arena that you're in. Spec requirements high. What do you think? Do you think the uh, GS or the uh, iPhone 7 is high or? Okay, it says default. I'll go classic. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little classic action. So these, the bumpers are padded so it doesn't scratch the phone. And they actually give you some extras in there, which is pretty cool. And then to turn on the fan, you actually hit the back button here. And it gets that fan going. So, and you can feel it. It's got a good amount of, good amount of stuff going on. So you do have to push pretty hard on these to actually get them to work. And I guess the idea is to hold it like with your pinky, your two, your pinky and ring finger down at the bottom and then trigger fingers up at top, your thumbs right here on the phone. I'll show you how to set up your gameplay to work on a controller. So you can see all the remotes, all the buttons are down at the bottom. So you don't really get to use these guys, your triggers for those buttons yet. But we can rearrange this so they do work with the buttons. Ooh, two friends are streaming. Okay, so what I really wanna do is change around my controller. So I'm gonna pop into settings here and controls and I'm gonna go customize, and I'm gonna take my fire button, and I'm gonna set it to the top here, because that's where my joystick is. And then I'm gonna do, what should I do? Should I lean left, lean right? Should I do maybe my tactical squat lay down? I think I'm gonna throw my tactical grenade up here and let's see yeah that grenade didn't really work out bam maybe i'll do the sprint so if you don't know this controls uh pretty much your button size where it's laid out how you play the game so on and so forth and if you don't customize it then eh, you, pr you probably want to customize it bam 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 i'll put my jump down here and I'll actually make it a little bit larger, the button size. Look at that. Okay, cool. So now I gotta hit save. I'm gonna like double save it so I know it's good to go. Got him. I'm about to land on all the uh, shipping crates. There's actually a lot of loot in this area. Got a backpack, helmet, grenade. I need a weapon. Ooh, I got a pistol. Here we go. Now we got something. Now we got something. This controller kind of helps with like holding the phone. I, the weight's not on my hands. So that alone is kind of nice. Damn, dude, I got all the way over here and no one's there. So I do think the controller itself is fairly decent. It does take the weight off of the hands and basically puts it onto the controller. So you're just holding the controller, which is nice. Uh, I don't really know uh, if these triggers are going to be extremely helpful. I mean, is it worth 10 bucks? I don't know. We'll find out. You guys might be able to pick up that fan with the microphone, but jump. All right. Where are my guys at? Where are they going? Yeah, they're just going right for the action. I like to dive a little bit further out. That way I don't get stuck in all the action right away and I can get my equipment going. 
All right, let's check it out, man. We can sprint like right away. Oh, okay, fair enough. My sprint is gone. Okay, here we go. This is a little weird. I mean, I could probably get make this work. Oh, shoot. Aha! Restricted area. This is kind of weird. I, I mean, using that trigger threw me off for sure. Maybe my person will come save me. I highly doubt it, though. They never do. Good old shotgun. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to exit the game. Dun, dun, dun. Returner. Ooh, okay. Quick deal. Let's jump in one more. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I can do that, though, in the preload. Okay, let's hit the settings. And I'm going to go controls one more time. And I'm going to customize that. And this guy can come down here. This guy can go up there. And the size will be much larger. Notice it's not actually hitting that. Okay, working perfect. Got it. Exit. Oh, here we go. Holy sh... So the controller does, I will say, that it, it kind of makes it weird to, to get your movements going. Um, you would have to customize your buttons to be able to really get a good spread so your feet and your hands can reach because it, it kind of makes it a little awkward but so far the game's pretty fun there's someone behind me i'll just run around with this pistol boom in a in a scope oh yeah look at that m16 done i got the burst rounds let's see what we can do here yeah, I'm like using this, my hand's like flat on the phone. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Maybe I'll put the scope on the left side. I guess that would probably be a little better than the sprint. Let's go help out number four. See if we can get some action going here. Okay, well, that didn't really work. Well, that's it. I mean, for the Battlegrounds mobile game controller, it was pretty good. I mean, it was easy to use. It didn't require any extra plug-in. It had a charge out of the box. The triggers are decent. They are a little clunky and they make some good noise. I mean, I'm sure you guys heard them in the video. This is what I'd say. If you're really into gaming and you do streaming or at least play competitively at any level, then some sort of controller would probably be good. This one's not bad for the price. I mean, 10 or 15 bucks gives you a fan that keeps your phone cool, which is massively important if you're streaming your games or you're playing for two to three hours at a time. Uh, it does give you the triggers on top that are pretty smooth, uh, in my opinion, for as cheaply they, that they're made. I mean, all it is is a little bit of metal, some springs, and a couple rubber caps to go over the top. The controller itself is fairly light. My phone actually weighs about the same amount as the controller. Uh, but what I will say, the drawback really, is I had a microphone, and most people have a headset plugged in on their audio jack. Well, this controller doesn't eliminate that getting in the way of my hand. I still had to grip around that audio jack. Now you could use a Bluetooth device and eliminate that completely. So if you have a Bluetooth device, definitely that's the way to go. And I just wanna wrap up by saying, I know I wasn't playing the PUBG Mobile Lite that's not available in this country, um, but basically the new updates to PUBG were also put out on the PUBG Mobile Lite. It was just a platform for the other countries. So that being said, 
I don't know, I'd probably rate this like a six and a half, seven out of 10 for the average person. Uh, if you don't have a gaming controller yet for your mobile phone and you are a live streamer and you're constantly on your phone for three or four hours at a time, then absolutely, you need to have one of these. And this one, I'll put a link in the description, is actually a pretty freaking good uh, controller for that. Like I said, 15 bucks, keeps your phone cool, actually enhances your control on the fire button. Having to use your thumb all the time, it's the de dexterity in your thumb isn't the same as what you can get with the trigger finger. So you can actually be more rapid on your firing. And depending on what you put on the left trigger, you may be able to sprint a little bit faster. You may be able to scope a little bit faster, uh, open doors, whatever it is that you wanna put on that left trigger, it'll make it faster for you. Cause having to reach up with your thumbs is kind of rough on the mobile gaming platform. That's about it, really, in a nutshell. Uh, six and a half, seven for the average person, probably an eight or nine for the price in this budget, eight or nine, uh, in my opinion, for somebody who does a lot of streaming and does a lot of gameplay. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the content. If you think we need to put out more mobile gaming videos, just write it down in the description. Tell us what you're looking for. If there's a product that you're interested in buying, but you haven't had the chance to see somebody actually use it, then just let us know. Uh, chances are we can pick one up, we can do a little unboxing, a quick video, and give our opinion. And that way you don't have to spend 20, 30, 40 bucks before you do it. Just watch the video in our content. And if you like the video, then go buy the product. So, okay, have a good day, everybody. That car is crazy, yeah.